Hello everyone and how's it going? I hope it's going well. For me it is going pretty good, gotta say. But first of all I just want to apologise that it's taken three days to, to get a new video out. Now there has been a good reason for that, mainly on account that I've got a new PC and I've been busy setting that up. And secondly, I've had a few problems with the audio and that sort of came across in the video that you're about to see. Basically got about 20 minutes or 90 minutes, 30 seconds to be precise into the video and discovered that there was no microphone sound. So there's actually about a 10 minute section without any, without any microphone commentary. Now, I could have just re-recorded that section, but I've done quite a lot during that time. And I just wanted to preserve the continuity of the, of the video and of the series. So I decided to go ahead with it as is. I've put some music over the top of it rather than trying to do any kind of like post, post uh, video commentary. And I hope you enjoy it anyway. As I say, it's not something that I would normally do. It's certainly not something that I would foresee myself doing again in the future. Well, I hope not anyway. But anyway, we'll move on to the video. Thanks for listening, guys, and take care. I'll see you soon. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft 1.10 Survival Multiplayer on the Season Gamer server with myself, Relic Gaming. So since the end of the last episode, if I can just sort of get down from here, since the end of the last episode, I've done a little bit of thinking and I have come to the conclusion that I don't like that spider being so close. That's for, let's just let's just quickly get rid of you because you are potentially quite annoying. Where are you? Do you want to come back and attack me now? Is that what's going on? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, basically, I just came to the conclusion I wasn't very happy with how this was looking. So I did a little bit of thinking, and I've come up with a bit of a design now for the front. It's going to be pretty much the same, but it's just going to look a lot better. We're going to have a little bit more variety to the block choices that we're making, and we're also making it a little bit higher from the window point of view, so it's three tall now instead of two. We've added a little bit of an extension in over here and yeah I'm going to do a little bit of a different design with the front window here and I've also just taken back this whole piece by by one block because it was three blocks out and I actually only wanted it two so the first thing we're going to do is I've got some polished andesite and I am just going to this is actually going to go all the way around but for now I'm just going to put it in just so you can sort of get the visual effect of how of how this is actually going to look. And if we've got any stairs, just so I can pop that bit back in there, like so, if I can get it in. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, continue putting the andesite round here. And that wasn't where I wanted that to go. Oh, dear me. Right, there we go. So we'll put that all the way around. And that is just basically going to offset once this is done with how I want the roof to look. Because if you remember, I said I want that to be in stone brick stairs. And I still do. Yeah, and that'll go, that'll go all the round. I still do because I think that's going to look quite good together. So basically now you've got this kind of like little foundation piece. And then what we're going to do, we're going to start. Well, where should we start from? Let's start from this, this window over here so what we're going to do then is we're going to stick these in this way around now this is gonna go in like that so the reason why i'm doing that is just because the the glass kind of like stu stood out and i didn't really like the way that it looked because of that so we're going to get rid of these snow blocks up here because we are not going to need that. And we just replace that with the quartz up here. And then we can put the glass in. Now, hopefully, I can't grab that at the second. We'll grab that in a, in a minute. I'm just going to be really careful not to actually waste any of this glass now because... I don't like the fact that I have to go and find squids every time. He says straight away, wasting a piece of glass. 
There we go. So that is, in a nutshell, how that is going to look. The next thing that I really want to do now is just put in a little bit of decoration on this. But first of all, we want to get a snow, a few snow blocks over the top of the piece that we've just done because it's now going to be another level higher. So where's my snow like this? And yeah, so this will basically now sort of come up to this level and like so like that so we'll just leave that for now because i can do the rest of that off camera there we go so the next thing then is i want to add a little bit of decoration into the window because it's still kind of it still kind of looks a little bit plain so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to take the stairs again and i'm just going to put some stairs over the top on this course like this and then we'll have a little bit on the end that turns around here hopefully that's done what i want to do yes it has and we'll do the same here and then that will basically just look a little bit more sort of decorative it won't look quite it won't look quite as boxy and then i've made some wool which I think is going to look pretty good. If I just put this down the side, again, it's just going to make it stand out a little bit more. And then, yeah, that is basically how that is going to look. And then, I think, potentially, I'm going to take this up another level as well. I think that's what we'll do. Let's just jump inside again. And we'll go this way, just make life a little bit easier. And just grab our snow. I think, yeah, potentially we can afford to just make this into an extra level high. And then what we can do is, just bear with me a second. I might undo this, I'm not sure how this is going to look yet, but I'm just sort of thinking that I can potentially let's just get a bit of a a dirt pole going on here i'm just thinking potentially with this outside if we were to put some if we were to put upside down stairs along here of course this is now not going to be wide enough like this i don't want that one like that and let's just take this down again actually like that let's just see how does that look yeah, if that's all the way around, I think potentially that's going to look quite good as well. Let's just get up here and and done. And there we go. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Let's just get back up here again. Right. There we go. I've really got to sort out the DPI on this mouse now because it's uh, it's come to the point where I can't really control how fast I'm turning round. There we go. And where's my dirt? Just build this out a little bit so I've got some actual room to work. And then we'll put this along here. I say I won't take it all the way along. I can do the rest of that off camera, but I just want to see how this is gonna look. And to say we'll just put a couple of bits there. Right. So let's just can we get along here actually? Yeah, let's do let's just do this bit along here as well. And then I can actually get the feeling for how this is gonna look all in all. And um, just a little bit further. Right, so then this will basically come here and here, like this. I think that's going to look pretty good actually and then on top of this this is going to be because this is going to be kind of an extension i think we just have like a little bit of a flat roof along here which can i just get over here yeah so let's just grab some snow blocks and just fill in a little bit more of that have i got any stone slabs no i haven't that's a shame actually yeah so anyway this would this would basically join up here 
and be snow slabs, uh, stone slabs all the way along. In fact, can I just grab some stone slabs and see how that looks? That was the wrong place to jump down. So I've got to say, shame if this is a little bit waffly, but I am trying to think on the fly of how I want to do this. And that kind of constitutes multitasking, which is not something I'm great at. Right, there we go. So let's just grab these cobblestone slabs then. In fact, hmm, I'm not really sure that I want them to be cobblestone slabs now that I think about it. Can, can we do... We got any more cobblestone or is that now have i now exhausted my supply of cobble it looks as though i have let's just in fact let's just go with cobble slabs now i think what i want them to actually be in the end is the stone brick stairs sorry the stone bricks i think we can do slab versions of that in vanilla minecraft and that's kind of what i want it to be but just for now we'll use we'll use this and i can take that back up afterwards so that that will kind of like give us the feel for how that's going to look and then let's just cut down one of these pillars and get down that way so we don't take any more damage he says cutting the wrong one away right and jump over here i think that's going to look pretty good you know as i say that will be that will be the stone that will be the stone slabs anyway let's crack on so the next bit then is going to be this, and this is going to be kind of like a bit of a bay window. Now, I've not done a bay window before, so I am hoping this is going to turn out okay. But to start off with then, we are just going to want some more of this polished andesite. And we'll just make a little bit of a foundation out with this. So we'll come out to here and here and then we'll have three in front and that is the basis of how it is going to look and then i've already got some glass somewhere yeah i've got the glass there we just need to turn that into have i got any more just have a quick double check in fact no i've got oh no that's gray i want light gray got any light gray no we've got some gray dye there Okay, fine. Let's just turn that then, what we've got there, into... I've got a light grey dye. Yeah, there we go. Turn that into light grey blocks. And I could really have done with some more sand cooking here, actually. Let's just put a few more pieces of that in there. And let that cook up right so then this will come up basically three this will come up three this will come up three and let's just finish that off because then that will be the same height as the other windows there we go we've run out so <laughs> let me just wait for that to cook and i'll be back in a sec okay so and we go back over to the crafting table and pop that in there with some more of the dye like so and yeah, that should now be enough just to finish that off. And jump up here. So you got a piece there, a couple of pieces there, a couple of pieces there, and a couple of pieces there. If I can get one up there, that'll be a miracle. There we go. Right. So that will go then like that. And then the top of that, again, we'll use the quartz block. Okay, so what we'll do then is let's just get some blocks down here and get ourselves up to the top here. And we'll take our quartz blocks then, wherever they have now gone. And we'll just pop some of those along the top here. I am aware that I am going to start getting hungry in a second. So let's just quickly eat some food before that happens. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the quartz stairs again and exactly the same as I did last time. If we just extend this platform out a little bit so that I can get there like this. In fact, let's not walk too close to the edge. And yeah, so I'm just going to then take this along a little bit and we'll just grab a little bit of a pattern 
along here without falling off the edge and then just take this all the way around and then we'll fill the top in with quartz as well and what can I use here do you know what let's just use a block of quartz for now yeah so basically then this will come along here can I get this one in on the edge without falling off is the question like so in fact we've run out of quartz stairs okay so now let me grab some more of that so we can basically put a piece there a piece there can I not do that because that would be about what I'd expect yes yeah, so a piece there and then jump back across here uh, and a piece just here why is that now not joined ah that's why because we put it in the wrong put that one in the wrong place and then we'd have what a piece here and get rid of that I think that's how I wanted it okay so a few minutes later and we've got this sorted out and yeah what I basically did was I just took all the dirt away and that and did it from the ground and it was just kind of like a little bit easier to see if I just drop down here and I'll just show you this now from the front and I think that is going to look pretty good and then what we use is some more then of the stone wall and we'll just take that from here and just put that down to the ground level and the same on the other side just down to here i'm so glad this tree is uh is here actually by the way all these birch trees this is stockers doing he obviously heard in my last video that i wanted some birch and decided to plant down a few saplings for me he's also kindly left a little bit of a surprise chest here for me and yeah some bits and pieces in there as well so yeah cheers mate very much appreciated so yeah let's have a look then and see how this is going to look now yeah i think that is going to look pretty good and then we've just got the last window to do on this side and yeah so we've already we've already put the window in so basically all we need is just to grab some more of the quartz stairs and i am actually beginning to run out of this quartz now i think i might have some more actual quartz stashed away in one of the chests in fact that's not going to be enough let's just have a quick look have i got any more quartz I've only got two chests, so there's not a lot of places that I need to look. I haven't, no. So it looks as though I'm either going to have to go on the scrounge for some of that as well, or we're going to have to take another trip into the nether. But yeah, basically then we're going to have, this will come along here, and the design will look exactly the same on that side. So yeah, that will go pretty much like that. And then on this edge here, the wall design is going to be pretty much the, the same level as this. Now, the reason for doing this is if we don't, what's going to happen is when we start to build the roof, so the roof is going to overhang more over this side. What, what will happen is the roof here won't meet up with the roof on this side and the centre part of the, where the top of the roof sort of joins the both halves of the houses well it will be offline and i just i don't want that to happen because i think that will look pretty weird so I'm just going to grab some more in fact before we start grabbing any of that let's just do the last little feature here what we're going to do is just going to put some stone uh some stone some quartz in here and just to make a little bit of an overhang for the doorway and put that there and that there and then we'll have obviously we're going to have our stone walls coming down from the window now we haven't got the quartz stair in there yet but it it will be and then just here we're going to take some of this some quartz pillar blocks and we'll put that down now, obviously, that will go down to floor level. And we just want another bit of andesite then 
on. In fact, no, we'll just put the andesite in there and that'll be fine. And I think I'm going to have a couple of glass panes in here. I think that'll look okay. It's kind of obscured a bit by this wall, but that's that's kind of fine. And then let's just have a final step away from this. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty good, actually. I'm quite happy with how now, with a little bit of extra colour, how that's looking. And then, of course, we need to start building up some of the walls at the front. So I think I'm going to do that off camera, actually, because it's just going to be placing of walls and more windows. And once I've done that, so I'm just going to do the front. I'll be back and we'll have a look and see what it looks like.
Well, I am going to have to wrap the episode up there, guys. It's been a bit of a crazy episode, what with the audio failure that we had a little bit earlier and a few other things that have just made it a little bit of a crazy episode. But thanks ever so much for sticking with it. And we'll get these problems sorted out, get a mind out in the in the future. Things are getting better by the day. And now that we've got the new system, things are going to improve a lot faster as well. So, as always, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you'll join us in the next episode. And until then, guys, take care. Bye.